When I was in my 30s, I always wondered what do developers do once they reach the age of 40? And now that I'm 41, I realise it was kind of a dumb question. It's not like we suddenly just disappear off the face of the earth. But at the time, I think the question I was really asking was, is there a place for developers who are over 40? Because I was surrounded by people in their normally late 20s and 30s. It was quite rare that we'd have anyone in their 40s. I would wonder if by that age they'd somehow made enough money that they could just sit on some investments for the rest of their life. Maybe they would decide that they're done with development and transfer transition into a completely different career. And now that I am over 40, I know those things not to be true. I'm still here, I can still write code, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. If you're like me and you want to make sure that you can keep developing into your 40s, 50s and beyond, I've got four points here to keep in mind so that you can continue developing in a way that's just as effective as the 20s and 30s version of yourself. It's harsh but true that your decades of experience is probably worth less than you think. If you compared yourself to an absolute beginner, obviously you've got an advantage because you have knowledge and you have experience to apply that knowledge. But if you think back to what you were working on 10, 15, 20 years ago, depending on how long you've been working in development, that experience isn't gonna be that relevant to what you're working on today. Technology's changed, frameworks have changed. The way people think about development has changed. I remember writing JavaScript for a newspaper website about 15 years ago and now I'm having to relearn JavaScript again because it feels so different and much more powerful than it was before. It's important to bear in mind that what was the best choice in the past isn't the best today. It's easy to get stuck in the trap of continuing to use a technology when there's clearly a better alternative like all those companies that continued to use Subversion or Perforce when Git was clearly the best tool of choice. And if you want to avoid that trap, try to stay open to being proved wrong. Pick a technology because it's going to get you towards your goal faster, instead of choosing something just because that's what you've always used, or to prove a point to your colleagues. Unfortunately, there is evidence that shows that the brain naturally declines with age. I found this scary looking graph that shows four different types of mental capabilities and how they decline with age. I'm sure some people will use evidence like that to say that developers in their 40s, they're just not as sharp as developers in their 20s and 30s. Data like this doesn't take into account the fact that software developers are constantly using their brain to solve challenging problems. And if you combine that with a healthy lifestyle, looking after your body as well as your mind, I believe that goes a long way to fighting your brain's natural decline. And it's by no means a reason that you can't continue developing even into old age. Uh, I don't know about you, but in my 20s, when I would hear hype, I would be very likely to get pulled along by the hype. And in my late 30s and now 40s, I have a tendency to dismiss things that are being hyped up. In some cases, that can be a good BS detector. But I think in the tech industry, hype can often be an indicator of the next big thing. So the last few years, obviously there's been a lot of hype around AI. It feels like every software company is coming up with any excuse to insert the word AI next to every new product release. When you look a bit deeper, you learn that it's actually not hype and there's a whole suite of new capabilities that you would probably be quite foolish to ignore, especially as a software developer. Because if something gets hyped up and you automatically ignore it, you lose the potential to improve your own skills and capabilities by using that new tool. So now I'm trying not to automatically believe the hype, but do a bit of my own investigation to see whether there's anything behind it, which for for me recently has been using AI tools like GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT to make my coding workflow a lot faster. When I was working a software development job, I used to jump job every one to two and a half years. And the traditional mindset is that that's a bad thing because it shows that you're not devoted to a single company. But I think that idea has definitely shifted and employers are realizing that the more people move around, the more experience they get. If they can hire someone with 10 interesting projects listed on their CV, all that knowledge they get to apply to their own project. So I believe that as you get older, the more projects you've worked on, the more advantage you have over the younger developers. And the reason for that is as you work on different projects, you notice patterns between them. 
and as you go on to new projects you can more easily spot potential problems and come up with solutions that you know work based on prior experience. And recently I realised that I was doing different jobs on different projects but they were all within the Java programming language space. That's a horrible word. They were all within the Java space. And now I believe that seeking out a variety of experiences can be a lot wider than that, which is partly why I'm working on building my own projects using languages that I haven't really used so much before. And I believe that's turning me into more of a well-rounded developer with skills that will be more relevant for my 40s and beyond. My final question for you is if you really enjoy development, and it's something you can see doing for the rest of your life, then it definitely will be something you're doing in your 40s, 50s and beyond. So why not take steps to try to make it into a long-term game to become the best developer that you can be and to make the kind of development that you do as enjoyable as possible. So now I'm setting a half hour timer and I'm gonna do some coding. I actually got this notification. It's an alert for one of my apps. On the landing page, there's this little widget that shows you how your thumbnails can look. It's populated by an API that grabs random YouTube thumbnail. It gave me this error. So I want to investigate to see whether there's any way I can automatically retry. So ChatGPT, it's suggesting using a Node.js library called Axios Retry. So I think I will incorporate this library. So let's install. Oh my God, JavaScript sucks. That's time up for me. I think I'll have to look at that a bit later on. So should software developers quit at 40? Definitely not. Hopefully I've given you some tips of how you can continue to be effective in your 40s, 50s and beyond. See you in the next one.